Hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to OMSI 2. And we're continuing our routes around the Bodenham map. This time we moved on to route X1. Uh, I was going to do the private hire for this route, but I really fancied driving um, this, the MANUEL, with a manual gearbox, which is a, a coach, so a slightly longer journey for this one. A slightly longer route, but one I wanted to do. And thought I'd change it up a bit weather-wise, and yep, as you can see, we've added some snow. So this could be an interesting journey. Um, got a nice uh, vehicle this. Uh, one of the two coaches we're going to drive in the next couple of routes. The one I've already got set for the uh, last route on the map is going to be the Volvo. Um, we will come to the private hire in a couple of journeys time. Um, we've only got uh, three left after this one before we change map. But let's jump inside. Um, one of the Ibis is that I actually haven't worked out yet how to work. Um, so we'll start it up, put some lights on, so yeah this is a manual, so as I move the gear stick on my G27 we get some uh, gear movement including reverse. And the clutch pedal, etc., moves down there as well. It's about a minute away from our pickup. So we'll pop some, let's move the steering out of the way for a minute. We'll pop some lights on. Uh, so passengers can see what they're doing. Um, they're probably going to come on board and complain that it's old. What the hell's that? Um, our temperature's down here on this one. So we'll crank the heating up. One of these buttons is actually a fan button for memory. There's 12 degrees on here. we will turn that off, so that's slightly annoying. Alright, let's pop the steering wheel back then. And make sure the door opens first. very slowly okay go into gear we go better pop some wipers on I suppose and off we go and mirrors seem to be broken since I put an update on top grates on my vehicle skins um, mirrors appear to be broken there's only a couple of routes left I don't think it's worth actually doing them ok let's let the people on board Good day. Good morning, mate. How you doing? Good yeah, morning, not bad. Well, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, you're all aboard. Let's close the doors. That's actually wheel slip I was getting then. I think the chances of actually making this on time are going to be quite slim. Done is our next stop. 
no one's already buzzed to get off. Quite nice driving a manual uh, vehicle in this game, but um, there is a lot of delay in releasing the clutch. And actually, uh, actually moving. You see the road markings either. Right, so we're half a minute early, not too bad. The same February. Um, actually, as this uh, chrono event only ran from January to March 2012, um, I've put it almost in the middle and handily on my birthday as well. Still a yellow light on, I don't know what that means. Oh, actually, I should think that's the one that means someone's getting off. Okay, so up we come to what an Asda then. Can you go any slower? Yeah, so there's quite a bit of lag. Once I actually release the clutch on the G27, there's quite a bit of lag before it does anything. I don't think the clutch is modelled that well. We just three minutes late, that's not bad considering the snow. Okay, let's let the next uh, victims on board. We'll get rid of that now, can't we? What? Morning. Hello. Hello. I forgot to let them off the back, didn't I? I must remember to do that, because there's doors at the back there. Okay. We're 1.1 minutes late now. The next stop is St. Catherine's Hospital. Having this manual gearbox actually makes me want to drive slower. But yeah, if this is the first one of these videos you're uh, you're seeing of mine, then welcome to the channel. And there's a new OMSI video up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. UK time. There's something random on the channel on a Sunday, and it's uh, Sim Saturday. So, could be buses, could be trucks, could be planes, could be trains, could be cars on a Saturday. Something random, but something a sim. I was actually uh, almost toying with doing uh, The Sims Saturday. Um, a game that I've picked up and put down a few times over the years. I'm not sure how well it go down on my channel. You may see that on a random Sunday at some point. A bit of The Sims. According to this now, we're 11 minutes early. And I can't see how that works. What's the curb again? I'm trying to drive too gently.
does look pretty good in the snow, mind you. Yeah, I think I'll stay with uh, this sort of speed. I think I may have actually come the wrong way. to have gone down the uh, motorway. Oh my god. Rip. Yeah, that didn't go round the corner then. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to turn around. We've gone down the M9. Apparently none of the passengers are complaining. They're nearly killed on this bend. bus driver turns around. I would have been on the phone complaining to the bus company by now. That's definitely going to put us late then. I know I'll speedy in the town. Right, so in theory, we should come up to the M9 motorway junction, which is under this bridge, I think. Yeah, there we go. This is where we should have gone. So it's like detour there people. We're back on track, we only lost a couple of minutes. Right, now it's wondering where it's aren't working, I'm just gonna have to go for it. There we go, we're back on track at least. No one got killed yet, that's a good thing. One of the good things with this game, you get a mixture of roads. You get the country roads, you get the town roads, you can get a bit of motorway chucked in as well. I think it's the first time we've actually been on the M9 in any of these routes. Should we 
good. Should come up to the end of here and turn right from memory. So as I said at the beginning of the run, we've only got a couple of routes left. Um, the plan is to do the um, the night bus next, then the private hire, uh, which is in the old D92. Um, so back to an old favourite bus again. And then finally, um, we'll do the X2, the sister route of this one, in another coach uh, in the Volvo. The three routes to go. And then it's on to another map. Which I do plan on uh, the moment doing Daytonford County. Because um, there's a few routes on there that are quite good. And then move on to some other maps. Uh, maybe even look at some of the official DLC after that point. We will come back to Bodenham. Um, I think there's an update coming to the map, so someone's working on a newer version of the map. Um, so if that does come out then we'll certainly come back and look at it again. So I do like this map. Alright, so he's turning off there. A lot of lag. Come on, it's stuck on loading the AI. There we go. On coming off as well. Very careful with the braking. does actually make, make me slightly more nervous driving in the snow. back on the normal streets again. The next stop is St Catherine's Hospital, one of the places where I generally tend to get lost. Sliding and sliding and yeah, we're in the back of the lorry. Um, oh, okay, we're okay. Hey, yeah, I don't think they appreciate the wheel spin there. Just focusing on the lights of the truck in front just so I can see where the road's going. Uh, definitely a bit like driving in real life. Well, according to this then, we're actually early. Whether I was speeding on the uh, 
on the motorway. No, don't speak to me then. Might actually nine degrees in here now, so we'll actually have to put that fan on. See if we can bring the temperature up a bit. And the outside of the bus has got a little bit dirty. Okay, bus went to come behind us now then. So I better make a move. Oh, no, I can break this on. Yeah, I shouldn't pull off in first really. Even seconds is a struggle. Okay, so it's a U-turn round the roundabout. Slowly. Get in front of the Vandy Wells, so we don't get stuck behind that. Um, excuse me. Okay, I'm guessing his mirrors don't work either. Yeah, it's all good. It's snow, people. Look, people, do you want to get there safely or do you not want to get there at all? It's up to you. Okay, so next up uh, is bus station. Actually, I'll pull away in a second. Look, a Cito. I know you're about to crash into. Oh, good. This is one of the things I like about this game is the, is the realism. You know, all the switches work, the dials work, it's showing my fuel level, it's showing the temperature level, everything's switchable, the bus gets dirty, the windscreen gets dirty, passengers talk to you. Yeah, the graphics are not great, it glitches out. Um, but the uh, the modability of the game is just so good. You know, this is a free download map and it's giving me more playability than the uh, than the standard maps. You know what? I'm going to go past him. Yeah, once we've done dating for county, I will uh, have a look at some other maps and may then just jump to the uh, some of the official DLC. And then any recommendations that you've got for some good maps then yeah please leave a comment come back lights
driving this as a manual really makes me want to drive manual buses more often. Actually, it really makes you want to have a game on uh, ETS 2. If you've not used, played this game before, then I highly recommend uh, buying it. Hours and hours of um, gameplay that you can set to your, as much uh, realism as you want. You can have gloriously sunny days. You can turn the ticketing on or uh, on easy or on full ticketing mode. Um, you can uh, spend hours just doing one route, as I've said in other videos. You can start at the garage at the beginning of the day and just do the same route. As you get to the end of the route, it tells you do you want to carry on? Do you want to go back to the start again? You can get to a point where you actually turn the uh, sat nav or the maps, or the map guidance, the arrows off, because you'll get to know the route. There's as much playability in this as you want. If you like sim games, you like driving games, then highly recommended and certainly using a G27 as I do um, makes it a lot more playable I did start using an Xbox 360 controller um, when I first started playing the game and it was playable I've seen comments of people playing with a keyboard and mouse and although yeah my, my PC isn't the highest spec um, an i5 with a, a 750 Ti graphics card it's running it okay. Um, you could run it on a slightly lower spec machine and just turn the graphics settings down. So there's a lot of playability in this. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Only just. Yeah, it's one of those games that gets you uh, frustrated at times, but also gets you hooked in. Sort of getting used to driving in the snow. You can see me coming very unst unstuck when I come back to doing a, a normal uh, daytime sort of summer route. So I'll be uh, slightly miffed when I have to come back and drive an automatic as well. Go into the bus station for this one first. ABS kicking in there. The bus station stops C, which is that one over there. to come back out again. They're driving in this snow, it does make me actually want to drive slower. I'm actually not doing too bad time-wise either. Well we were 1.4 minute ahead then but now we're 5.4 minutes ahead. So I get nice and slowly around here. I think coming hopefully because I can't stop. There we are, 
out some more victims. Let them off, let the ones off at the back as well. Give me a so I'm getting off. I'll see, there's a bus stop in the way. I bet it's because I'm not in the right place. Yeah, there we go. Hey, good morning. No one's speaking to me then. Hello. Right, 16 degrees on it now. I can turn that fan off. Good morning. Okay, are we all done? Are we all on? That back door still open yet? Turn that, got that back door. Got that door. Uh, Larry Grayson. Um, got the front door. Shut the front door. I'm going Fieri now. Right. Nope. That one. That one. There we go. All right, God blimey, give me a chance to get away from the last stop, people. Okay, so the next one is um, Apsley Station. And then we're done. Another longer video, um, not helped by me getting lost, but it's actually going to be a longer route anyway. One of those I wanted to do, I wanted to drive this coach and um, wanted to do the one with the uh, motorway, so yeah. Although I will try and keep them shorter, I know some of you do like um, the longer videos, some of you uh, get through them at uh, one and a half times speed, was it, Tux? I actually quite like watching a longer video, as I said before. I just don't think with this sort of game um, that I could even chop it up, because there's not many bits where there's nothing going on. It's a sim game. The idea of a sim game is to actually play the whole route and play the game, not to skip bits. That's my opinion, anyway. through that. Yeah, I do like this uh, this vehicle as well. It's quite nice to drive. I mean, that manual gearbox makes all the difference, I think.
everyone in the back getting up and running to the door. Surely, if they're local and they know this route, they know we've got that right hand turn and then up the hill. Up here. Will we get there? You think they wait until at least we got around that corner before they got up? I certainly would if I was doing a regular route. They're all getting up now. If I look back there. Yep, yeah, they're all stood up waiting by the door. So yeah, I have worked out I use this Ibis. I might have to play around with that in the next couple of days and see if I can put up another Ibis setup video. I know it people, I'm trying to drive as gently as I can. It's snowy. This is one of those which if you've seen us arrive at this place before the route actually doesn't finish until we get over there up to station stand three we let all the passengers off here a lot of people on there okay so we let them all off close the doors we hop back in Look in the mirror. I'm going to drive down here around the roundabout. Which, even though I've got no passengers on board, I'm not going to go uh, pull out. Try and get the tail out. Pretty sure I could. That no, just pushes me further around. Oh god. Oh slide. Yeah, that didn't go well. to a stop. There we go. And we did an okay. A couple of minutes um a couple of minutes late, but not bad in the end. That's not bad considering the uh, considering the snow. But there we have it then, route X1 from Wooden High Road to Apsley Station via a slight detour and then the M9 motorway. Next is going to be on to the uh, night bus. Going to do the uh, N90 next, um, especially for you Rusty. So that's coming up next. Three routes to go on the Bodenham map as I said um, and then it's on to another map. 
So until then, if you have been, thanks for watching.